University of the Bahamas Banner Student Registration Quick Navigation Guide To register, visit www.ub.edu.bs and click on the Banner tab at the top of the home page. Scroll down to the left column and select Self Service Student under the Banner heading which will direct you to the account sign-in page as shown. Please enter your UB assigned user ID and password. The same credentials used to log into lab computers or to check your UB email. Select Registration and Planning from the menu to the left of the student profile page. Select Prepare for Registration. This will allow you to verify that your account status and student record are in good standing before you register for the new term. Select the term. Choose Select a Term from the drop-down menu and select Continue. Verify your status. Three green check marks mean your record is clear and you are eligible to register. If you have been flagged with a hold or have a student record issue, you may click on the status to display contact information to assist you in clearing it. Return to the registration screen. Once you have verified your status, select the registration tab to continue. Select register for classes. Select the term. Choose the relevant term from the drop-down menu and select continue which will direct you to the Register for Classes page where you can begin your search for courses. To search for, add and drop courses. Search. Search for a course by A, entering the course subject, course number or course keywords or B, using the advanced search option and then select search. You will land on the Find Classes tab once register for classes is selected. You can also use the enter CRNs tab to enter multiple CRNs, register for them and have them apply to your schedule at the same time. New course codes are available on the homepage of the website by selecting the online registration 2018 tab below the homepage images. Once the information has been placed in the subject, computer information systems, and course number 206 fields, as shown in the example, a complete list of all courses matching those search criteria will be populated and displayed. This will include contact hours, instructor, meeting times, campus, and enrollment. You will see the list of courses available based on your search criteria. Add. Click the Add button at the end of the row of the course you want to choose. Once you've searched and added all of your courses, select Submit to Register. You will remain on this page and fill your class schedule in its entirety based on the total number of contact hours you wish to take during that semester before selecting Submit. As you select Classes, they will appear in both screens on the bottom. The bottom left screen provides a calendar view, while the bottom right screen provides status details on the courses selected. Pay careful attention if there are any error messages originating from the bottom right screen. A Save Successful message indicates you are now registered for the course added to your course summary. Should you receive an error message upon selecting Submit, you should A. Contact the 24-hour help desk at 357-5644-357-5647 357-5669 or the toll-free line at 300-2322. The toll-free line is effective June 25, 2018. Or B, print error message and take to the Office of the Registrar or Records with a copy of your advisement form. Drop. To drop a registered or waitlisted class, click in the Action column for the course you wish to drop to see the options. Select the drop option and click the submit button in the lower right corner. Upon successfully dropping the class, the green save successful message will appear in the upper right corner. 
and the status will change to either deleted for drop or delete or withdrawn for drop with automatic W in the summary view. Conditional add and drop classes. Students who wish to drop a class only on the condition that they are able to successfully register in another class should check the box next to conditional add and drop just next to the submit button in the lower right of the class summary box. The class in which the student desires to register must be in the summary box with a pending status and action of web registered. The class the student wants to drop conditionally should have an action of drop delete. The conditional add and drop box must be checked. After all three of the above are in place, click the submit button. Students who are unable to drop a class online due to holes on their account should visit the Office of the Registrar or Records within applicable class drop withdraw deadlines.